Wow, I'm just blown away by this place. Oof. Hey guys, I'm Nash. And I'm Teresa. And welcome to a new video. Today we're in Chesky Krumlov. So this is our third time here now. And we just thought we'd bring you along. And then you can just Join us on this trip and just see how it is after all the lockdown. Yes, the sun is out and summer is full swing. So even though there was quarantine <laughs> and there's lots of things closed up, we're still gonna enjoy and we will show you around. Yeah, we're not sure if we're gonna vlog it because it's always raining, but the weather's but, good. Yeah, so we will just walk you through a bit. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go. I think the number one thing which you're gonna notice on this trip is normally there's thousands of people in the Old Town Square and they are mostly tourists but this year it's only people from Czech Republic and also people from surrounding countries like Germany who are visiting Czeski Krumlov because there's still some restrictions but I like it as well because it's still peaceful and my mission for today is to climb on the castle so I'm very hopeful that I'm gonna make it for today I think this may be my most favorite part of Chesky Krumlov because you have this little island right in the middle of the town center between the castle and the town and you have like a river which is going on both sides of the island and you can see people on really cute boats and then you can also see the castle which is just on that other side and there's a pub so I'm gonna grab a cheeky drink and I think I love this place it's amazing it's just breathtaking and this is worth visiting this place and we actually done a travel guide before about Chesky Krumlov so I'm gonna put a link on it if you want to see it it's gonna have more information about the place so make sure you check that out I just got myself a drink and this one is called Egenberg so it's actually brewed here in a brewery called Egenberg so this is one of the places we visited in our last travel vlog about this place so certainly make sure you check that out but this is so beautiful it's one of the most beautiful towns in, in Czech Republic and we also done another video here about five petaled roses which is a festival which happens each year where the local people dress up in traditional outfits and they are walking around the town center and they have like horses they have knives full suits of armor so it's really really cool although the weather is not so great like today it feels like it wants to rain We've been here for about five days now and every day it was raining apart from today so we actually managed to go out for today so at least you're lucky I just hope it doesn't rain until I finish this video good and there's so much people now obviously the borders are open so we can tell that there's not only Czech tourists so it's no longer like as empty as our previous Prague vlog the life is coming back the tourists are coming back 
and it's really lovely and the streets they smell like the Veronique and like sugar cinnamon pastry so it's really giving the atmosphere only thing I'm maybe missing a bit is music because normally traditionally at this time in Krumlov there is the music festival which goes up to end of summer which was cancelled because of the pandemic so now it's a bit quieter than I'm used to with summers so that's a shame because that gives even more atmosphere to the place and there's interesting fact about this place which I got to know today and that's um, there is sort of a stone, special stone called Votavin. It's a green stone. It's not a diamond, but it's super precious because it's found only in this area. There is nowhere in the world where you can find it. It's sort of like a mixture created from a meteor, which fell probably in this area or somewhere, but it just ended up here. And it's like a green stone and you make jewelry from it. It's, it's very expensive and very special. So we will show you. They sell them all over the place. And if you want some very good... Space stone. Meteorite stone. Space stone. Yeah, if you want a good... <laughs> if you want, yeah, it's a space stone, basically. Yeah. And if you want a good souvenir to bring from here, this is a very, very good thing to bring. So just a tip for you. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Teresa. Hello from Kirti Grumlo. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> and he's got himself a try it. The special Grumlo speciality. Sundarnik. Nice. Enjoy. Very nice. Enjoy. So I paid 150 crown and I've got a ticket which allows me to go to the tower and I can also explore the museums so they say there's 13 rooms so that shouldn't take too long to explore so now we're gonna go right up the tower and I've expected some epic epic views. This is the best view you can find in Krumlov. It is the highest point. So you can see the old town, you can see St. Vitus Church, you can see the castle, you can see the river, you can see the actual old town square. It's just breathtaking, breathtaking. It's amazing. Also running out of battery, so I need to check out the museum. So we're gonna now make our way there, but wow, I'm just blown away by this place. Oof.
can walk around in the museum and there's artifacts of um, the last generation which was living in the castle. So there's things like war stuff, there's um, cutlery, there's decoration, there's pictures. So you can see how they were living the last, last generation before it came to an end. And one thing which caught my eye was in one of the rooms. It's about the religious aspect of it. And there were Baroque Catholics, so it's like Catholics, but more Baroque style. And then there's like a dead body right in the middle. And that is creepy, it's like exposed. So you can see the skeleton, you can see the face. Boy, that's scary stuff, scary stuff. But generally, it's interesting to know how they were living and it's really, really interesting sights in here. It's amazing. things is this one it's like a couch so you're chilling on the couch and you want to go to it you don't have to go far you just stand up pop the thing open <laughs> do your business and you sit back down <laughs> oh cool cool i don't mind having that for christmas teresa yeah so it was an interesting tour so now we're gonna go outside and i think this is where we're gonna finish the vlog But now we are in the courtyard of the castle and you can go up again and you can see, get more views of Chesky Krumlov which are more epic. Make sure you check out the other vlog we did about Chesky Krumlov, about the five petal roses and we now come to the end of our vlog. So make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. We're going to be doing more videos about Czech Republic, moving to Czech Republic and tourism. And we're going to see you next time. Goodbye.